Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Dialar's Twi'lek Tactics. Happy Friday. I hope everyone has an exciting weekend planned ahead of them. As you can probably tell from the thumbnail of this video, this is going to be a different kind of video. So, this isn't going to be really anything that is actually related to our current version of Eternal Evolution, other than kind of tangentially. But, um, I'm going to tell this story. So, if you guys have been, like, consuming all content in EE, you're going to understand some of this. Some of this is already going to be common knowledge to you. But I saw something this morning, and then I've have kind of heard some rumblings behind the scenes that I, kind of, I had to present this to you. So, we're going to go to three different YouTube videos that tell three different parts of this story. Now we're going to talk about the past, the present, and the future. This is going to be like, um, what, a Christmas carol, kind of. Yeah, we're going to go back to the Ghost of Christmas Past, Ghost of Christmas Present, Ghost of Christmas Future. Now, uh, the links to all of the videos that we are going to see are going to be in the uh, c description of this video. Got to give those guys credit for these videos. Now, let's go over to the first one and we'll discuss. Now, I am going to kill the EE music for now the normal EE music so this video by Parka blogs who you can find the link in the description this is going to be the ghost of Christmas past because we all know or most of us know that EE in our current version basically ripped the assets from this game red tides 2 you can already see some of the similarities like that is artists and if you've played this game I've, I've heard good things about this game but um he as you're gonna see this they took basically assets from this game and directly turned it into eternal evolution there's sorietta there's the thunder dragon right like you can kind of get the picture you're gonna see there's uh what's his name nabella there's some elites there's xander there's our Anaruda. There's basically Ares. Right? You've seen that guy before. There's, you know, just all of the artist characters. Like, let's let's see if they got the new one, the Amat, in here. Because I don't know what's original now and what's just... There's, you know, there's Carmoda, the commander. There's basically... There was, a, there was Ares and uh, Skur. And it goes on and on like this. So right there's Airy or uh, Artis. If we fast forward, this is the uh, the Terran faction. You're probably gonna see some stuff that's very familiar. Well, actually, none of this looks really familiar. I know there's a that this guy's in the game. That guy's in the game. No, no, no. None of this is. There's Omar. That's basically. Omar, Botmark, there's, well, we recognize a lot of them. Bailey, right, there's Omar, there's Rez. You guys get the point, right? So, and this is the when for your faction. All of these guys are, are quite familiar, right? There's the Tw Twilight B. Those look cool. That was uh, Disa Caves guy. There was Rakana, Luke. You guys get the point, right? So, this is, um, EE basically took the assets from this game and uh, rolled it over into what we are commonly playing every day in Eternal Evolution. So that's the Ghost of Christmas past. Now, if you watched, oh, there's Mooka. If you watched Kyger's video, he alluded to Summon Dragons 2. Now, this says Summon Dragons, but the video is by Summon Dragon 2 themselves. Uh, it is in actually decent English. Now, this is a game where Eternal Evolution basically ported over all of their units into this game, reskinned them, but their kits are almost exactly the same. And in a lot of cases, they, they ported them over so sloppily that the names of the units, it's actually the Eternal Evolution names in the descriptions of the skill kit, of the kit. So this is Summons Dragons 2. This is what's currently ongoing. I know Revolution has a uh, a section for this game because basically, uh, I don't. This game was in like the Leo meta the a little while ago. Game is online. 
Let's see if we can Create find something. Dragon land and, immerse and there is always one who can find Like, at least it's not reskinned one for ones, but these units are basically EE units that have been reskinned and renamed, but they have basically the exact same kits as current Eternal Evolution units. Fight with you for the Let's future. turn this down. Now, I don't know if this Battle is... Th it doesn't actually look like this in-game. This is completely false. It's the exact same format as Eternal Evolution, like it's 5v5, that same kind of like top-down angled mode for attacks. Same thing, ultimates work the same, it's just, it looks a lot worse. This is a low-fidelity version of Eternal Evolution, and I'm sure that many of you probably wouldn't play a game like this that looks like this. Like, this is very cheaply made. Like, you see the, the look, at, look up here, look at gems and currency, and then look at this gems and currency so if you go digging into this game this summon dragons 2 you'll see that it is it is just reskinned eternal evolution they're just pawning it off as a completely different game like this is what they call a what uh asset flip i think that they call this an asset flip when they do this uh but it's not base building at all like uh, th this is blatant ripoffs of like pokemon that's basically charmander but i, I can't really talk because i do really like What's it called? Um, Pal World. So this is the this is the ghost of Eternal Evolution present. So they they made Eternal Evolution, which was a big success. They got and a lot of that is has to be credited to people like Jay Giggs and Dan Hallman and Ivy uh, Ivy Lee and uh, Hell Hades that brought a huge uh, portion base or player base from Raid over into Eternal Evolution and made it what it is. And the game is is definitely. Uh, benefited from the huge influx of players at the beginning and they oddly enough still do well at bringing new people into the game uh, so they do have a good uh, department that puts out intro cinematics the only thing is i don't know how much they're actually advertising i don't really see the advertisements as much anymore on say facebook or instagram but they they went on a huge advertising spree not that long ago i saw them putting out uh are doing Twitch sponsorships as well. But this game, Summons Dragon 2, they're trying to recapture another population using basically reskinned Eternal Evolution assets. Now, this last video, this is what was shown to me this morning by Dave. Shout out to Dave. I'm going to get rid of my head for this one. Uh, I want you to... in see this in all its glory this is what i'm calling the ghost of eternal evolution's future now i was i i'd say sickened i felt a little bit sick to my stomach when i saw this for the impl Im implications that it might it might hold um and this is by familia game zero who has 10 Point eight thousand subscribers again the link to his video will be in the description of this video let me get rid of my head so you guys can get the full gravitas of what is going on here let's make sure the volume's up yes that is falvia And yes, that is North Thion and Emma. Like, I'm just gonna say right off the bat, the the cinematic it has a much more of a StarCraft II feel. Like it's it's grittier. It's a little bit grittier, a little less shiny than Eternal Evolution is now. And there's Luke, like obviously Luke. fact here like like look at that 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 looked awesome here let me make sure let me crank the settings up on this bad boy let's, let's see it in all its glory like this looks awesome like i said this has a like a starcraft diablo like a, a blizzard type cinematic feel to it so like i'm assuming these are the big bads but look at there's crete like it's it's a it's a reskinned crete completely Like, that guy looks awesome. That looks like a uh, mad celestial from Marvel. See, 
Let's see, hear that music? That is the exact same music as like boss fights in Eternal Evolution. And this, 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 it just, it, it's so much more polished. Like this feels like, if you ever played Dragon Air Silent Gods when you're doing the, the guild boss, this feels like that. Like this feels a lot better than what we're getting right now in Eternal Evolution. Like, it's, you see how they're all lined up here? They got their health bars. You know, it's the same thing. You got the five characters down here, but this boss is just way, way better. And it's the same thing. Ultimate bars cranking up. Like, you can't tell me that this isn't at least two times better than what we're currently getting. Like, it's th like the mechanics... The mechanics, how those things like came overhead and then dropped straight down on us. Like there's so many different uh, variables. Uh, I don't know what engine they're using to make this, but this is our ship too that we're standing on to fight this boss. And look, at they're using Luke's ultimate. And it's exactly the same as his ultimate in Eternal Evolution. the same like like I don't know who this girl is but obviously it's a healer it's probably Serena right like look at that that is wicked so the implications I'm gonna crank this volume down a bit while we're talking the implications and I'm gonna bring my head back the implications are that um, Eternal Evolution is investing their development into this game, what they've learned from Eternal Evolution. And this game is called like Star Forge 52. It is only available in China right now. Um, if you go to this video and go into the link, you as a, unless you had like a VPN, I don't think you could play it because you need, I think it's Chinese age verification to play it. So even though if you had a VPN and you download it, you don't have the credentials to actually, you know, download it and be part of it. Like, what is this? Is this an ultimate? Like, this is a, like a little cutscene in between the boss fight. Like, it's freaking awesome. But I'm scared. So I'm scared because what does that mean? Are we just the guinea pigs now for the next iteration of the game? Like, they're, as someone that's put in whatever it is, 10 grand into this. Oh, and look at, look at that. Did you see that? See that? Ooh, there's a snafu. Boom! They didn't even change the Eternal Evolution loading screen. Wow. Yeah, Star Zone 52 Beta. So, remember way back when when they asked us what we wanted for a new UI for the starting? Well, you know what? I was wondering what happened to that because they had they gave us a bunch of options. They said which is best. Well, here it is, right here. Here it comes. Here's the new UI. That's the starting zone. See, and the battles are exactly the same, but they look a little bit better than what we used than what we're used to. But it is, it is the same game. Like these, this is a grittier, darker version of Falvia. Yeah, you got a Nabella. Grats to you. Like, I want to go back. I want to go back. Okay, so what do we got here? This is your... Look at Same thing. There's Palu. So this is what we're getting instead of this. Whereas this is our home screen. Right? You see? You know, I'm kind of cheesy. I remember when I first opened the game and saw this loading screen and I thought, ah, I don't know about this game. But then once I got into like the battle mechanics and the character models and like the, the hero um, intros, I was like, cool, this is a game I can get behind. It's got that sci-fi uh, aesthetic that I like. But, you know, they said they were going to change this opening uh, landing page for the campaign or whatever this is, but no, no, they just, they did, they did it. They brought it into the game, but they gave it to this game. They gave it to this game and said, I don't know what the, all this down here. I'm assuming this is the tutorial and this is telling him to go do some campaign or something. But like, look at that. That was what Nord Senway. 
was that Nora Senway and uh, Luke. Like, this is, again, watching this now, it, oh, this is summoning. Does this look familiar? Yeah, that's Falvia. Yes, I recognize her. That was Boar, who we just killed. Let's just fast forward a little bit. Like, this is obviously the tutorial. Falvia doing exactly the same thing. But it looks like this, this the way this this little, like, splat, this cutscene, this transition popped up to this was just better. It was just slightly more refined than what we have in-game right now. Like, whoa, what is this? Like, look at this. See how that guy, like, dropped down? Like, that guy's cool. And look at his, like, movements and stuff. Like, this is way better. So, Ghost of Christmas. <laughs> Ghost of Christmas future. Uh, Ghost of Eternal Evolution future. Like, well, here comes Rebecca. There we go. Rebecca just drops into battle. And it's the exact same Rebecca we have. And this is what this is probably gonna be her exact same ultimate. Well, it was to agree. It looks like she Yeah, pretty much. And she doesn't look as kiddish. So what is that? That's that's uh that's where we so what that was was say like how we moved from zone to zone. He's now at two one. So you see like you know how we like take off in our game, the ship, like, picks up, takes off, and just drops down to, like, a uh, a brown zone, a snow zone, or, or whatnot. No, nope, this game, just much better. The ship just goes through hyperspace, takes off. And look at this chest. Does this chest look familiar? These are, that's bot mark. I don't know what, that, the, it's, that was an advanced card. This is exactly the same, same stuff that we have. So let's just fast forward. Let's see if we can't see anything else. So yeah, yeah, winner. I don't know what that means. Like, that's just like the MVP, I'm assuming. Okay, pause. So this is the hero selector screen. So when we go to... Let's, let's, pull, my, let's pull ours up. So heroes. Uh, but if we... Hmm. So they actually have the heroes on the side, unless this is team. No, this is. He so I'm looking. Let's pull up a hero. So if we pull up gear. So we got. This is basically just gear and stats. So now if we go back to this game, you see the gear that we have leveled. We have the star level. We have the type, obviously Terran energy. And then down here would obviously be the stats. And then this would be... I don't know what this is. But this is her power. This little flame icon. But you hear the, you hear the music too? It's the exact same music as we're used to. See how she's just switching? Yeah, he's not cool at all. Thanks. Even though he's just like a, a, a common. And then back to the campaign. Oh, look, we got Nabella. Oh, and Jaina. You get Jaina in the starting, in the seven-day login. Awesome. Cool. But otherwise, it's just a clone, pretty much. But just look a little bit more of a polished clone. And that's it. Two times speed. Like, this is exactly the same. So, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That, that's pretty much... It's pretty much the gist of what I wanted to uh, to show you in this video. Let's get some music back. Okay. So what do you think? Are we in trouble? Is Eternal Evolution in trouble? Um, there has been some scuttlebutt um, from um, the two mods that are in my Discord, and I've who have actually come or, or to, come to quite appreciate. You guys know who you are. Saying that they're this, our version of Eternal Evolution is basically turning into the test bed of what's going to work over there. They said that we're, there's new pay to win mechanics coming in the future that they didn't elaborate on. And that just negative sentiment as, you know, basically they're done with this version of the game. 
You know, they've done the two collabs. They're, they're basically milking us now, probably. I don't know that. This is all just speculation. This is all just gut feelings, too, of what I feel. Like, it feels like they've got this, the other version, the more polished version of EE, version 2, lined up on deck. And right now, it's in closed beta in China, only available in China, but they're likely to run it or to push it globally eventually. And uh, yeah, tell me what you think down in the comment section below. I'm going to end this right now, 20 minutes. I don't know what else I can say. It's just I'm, di I'm not, I don't have a good fuzzy feeling in my stomach for the future of Eternal Evolution after seeing that. Can the two games run in parallel? Yes. Do I expect Wales to go from this game into that game? No. Because, you know, sunk cost, fallacy, all that. In most cases, a whale or someone would just say, no, okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to go find something brand new. They're not going to go into a slightly better polished version of the same game and, and drop the same kind of money. Am I going to play it free to play? No, I don't really want to start over again either. I've, I've done three different free to play accounts. I, I don't want to do it again. I don't want to start again. And I'm going to stop rambling now. Tell me, ladies and gentlemen, what you think of what you saw in the comment section down below. And um, yeah, the, the links to all those videos are going to be in the description of this video. So go give them a, go check them out. If you want to analyze it a little bit better, tell me what you think. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good weekend, everybody. Cheers, peace. Bye-bye.